Mm -hmm. Do students have to answer a long series of questions during the lesson? Yes, the students uh, uh, have to answer. Have to answer uh, a long uh, answer during a the long series of questions. A long series of questions during the lesson yes. six. Yes, good. <laughs> born in England some time ago and I lived there, I, I grew up there, but then two years ago I decided to move to Poland and so I did. I moved to this house. I feel at home here. I feel um, that this is my country and that um, the Polish people are my people. Well. I try to have some influence. For example, when I'm teaching at the school, if I have more advanced groups, the, the conversation always turns to, I suppose, to my agenda, which is um, to get people to turn off their televisions, to stop shopping in the supermarkets, to stop giving power to these small interests that are affecting life so heavily here. So um, I had the driving test here in October 2011, and on on the Sunday of that week, I think I arrived in Poland when I moved here with my things and, and stayed. I mean, there's nothing written here, but uh, but I remember this is this was the day, and I usually celebrate a little anniversary of moving. Yes, people are happy. People are happy. People are happy when uh, marry, they marry when they marry. Somebody they love. Somebody they love. Mm -hmm. Good. When do people have to divorce? People uh, divorce. People, yeah, people have to divorce. People, uh, people have to divorce when uh, don't think uh, the same. When they don't think the same. Yes, when they. Okay. Think right. The same. In England, I always attended a Polish church, so I've always been in that, but. I know many people who were raised like that and simply drifted away and didn't interest them any further once they became adults. But I've continued to go to church and I continue to be a Catholic. And I think it is important to me. I could say about uh, the most crazy thing you've done in your life. <laughs> um, I, I cannot talk about the craziest thing that would be. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> no, I can't do that. Yeah. But um, uh, some other things. Um, most of it for me happens um, in that um, ravine between Yelena Gora and Shedlenshin, my way home. Twice I've got very drunk mm -hmm. and fallen asleep. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so the first time was in May. So it was, it wasn't very cold, but I, I was on my bike, I was cycling drunk. Um, I just sort of, I didn't fall over, but I couldn't be bothered to stay upright. So I kind of ended up on my side and I went to sleep for four hours. I woke up really cold, I was just in a t-shirt and uh, I went so fast that I didn't realise that my basket had fallen off of my bike with my bag and I'd left them in the ravine and in that bag were, well, were many of my favourite things um, but also my birth certificate. So I lost my birth certificate. Ostatnia niedziela Dzisiaj się rozstajemy Dzisiaj się rozjedziemy na wieczny czas. 
to ostatnia niedziela, więc nie żałuję dla mnie. Spojrzyj, czule dziś na mnie ostatni raz. Będziesz jeszcze dość tych niedziel miała. Then at this moment I have someone else staying here as well, just temporarily. Um, another fairly similar story. Um, a girl from Australia. She's she is very physically attractive, and uh, you know, she can be very pleasant as well. And when I first met her, I. Quite honestly, I, I sort of fell in love, but it was, it was not, I didn't know her well, so it wasn't with her, but it was with an image of her, something I'd imagined. She's supposed to be packing her things and going. She, she said she'd need a week, but she's been here longer and she's uh, turned this room into her bedroom. It's not comfortable, either for me or for her, but somehow she just carries on staying here and taking her time and in the day she she's sleeping with all the curtains closed. It's it's like a cave in here. And it's you know it's supposed to be my living room. And girls, right. Well I'm also interested in girls <laughs> and uh and yeah, so well I'm just keeping my eyes open. So I mean there's there's, there's not much more to it, I think. I just um I have to meet people and um eventually I think I'll meet the right person to have to have a farm to grow things and and really to start there a perhaps a better way of doing things. But I just feel more comfortable being strange in Poland than being strange in England. In England, uh, I, I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable there. And when I go back there for, um, for some holidays, I quickly want to come back to Poland.